Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP, JPY and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about our last analysis of GBP, JPY. When we did that analysis, the market was here. Um, you can remember the market ended as a bearish candle. Of course, looking at the charts, you can see that it ended as a bearish candle with a long lower week. So we did say that looking at the entire chart, we can tell that the market is to go bullish. But also considering the fact that... Um, Two so Fridays ago, the market ended as a bearish arami. We said there was possibility that the market will sell a bit before it finally buys again. And you can see the market sold on Monday and Tuesday, then Wednesday, it made sign to buy. Thursday was bullish and Friday, um, the market ended as a bearish candle. Now, looking at the chart, we can also tell that within last week, there was... Um, not much volume in GBP, JPY. So that's the reason why um, this is all what had happened or this what this all that had happened within um, last week. You can see it's not much. So on Friday, the market ended as a bearish candle. So we can see the market did buy, but it did not go as far as we anticipated. This was at CP um, 197.7 197 and the market did not attain that. It just made um it just started buying a bit and stopped around here so if you were able to get in on that i want to say congratulations to you now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame we can see that the market had bought quite significantly a gbp jpy had been buying for quite a while it was until last month that we had the market sell pretty hard and it sold into the first two weeks of um, this month, this is the month of August, then we saw bullish rejection and at the moment the monthly candle is currently a hanging man and we still have one week for this month to come to an end so we'll still be observing to see how the month will end. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame we can see the market bought pretty hard, got to this region and started selling and it also sold pretty hard, got here and we can see what happened here so um the market made a morning star here which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and we, that's part of the reasons why we said um we expect the market to go bullish last week but uh, like i said earlier that there was not much volume in the market last week and you can see the market ended as a doji which shows indecision so there was quite a contention among buyers and sellers which caused the market to end in indecision. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see after the market sold this much, started buying, got here, sold a bit, and this is how it ended. So um, on the daily time frame, the market ended as a bearish arami. Now let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, we can see the market sold this much. Then it started buying, it started making um, more like an ascending channel, series of higher highs and higher lows. Got here, sold again, and came to this region. I think this was where last week ended, which we said it's likely to sell again and attain this region before it buys again. And you can see it did sell, got here, and it has just been ranging around here. So obviously nothing much happened within last week in GBP, JPY. And the four hours time frame ended as a hanging man, although the body of the candle is also little. So let's call that a hanging man instead of calling it a doji. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? One thing is very fundamental and very clear in the charts right now is that there is indecision in the market. That's a fact. Look at the weekly time frame. You can see the doji. Look at the daily time frame, you can see that the market did not move much. It just ranged, lingered around here for an entire week. 
look at the four hours time frame you can see what happened for the entire week this is all that the market did so there is indecision in the market and um, there's strong contention among buyers and sellers so for that reason i i wouldn't say that the market i wouldn't um want to jump into any conclusion of what direction the market will go to look at the overall chart we can say that we expect the market to go bullish which is reasonable having seen this significant bearish move um we expect a retracement and it should at least come to this region which is the next strong resistance region but that did not happen then look at the last candlestick on the daily time frame we can see that the market ended as a bearish candle so making this a bearish arami which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern so looking at the chart we can see signs for two different for the market to go to two different directions so for that reason we have to wait for a confirmation so if the market will go bullish it will sell perhaps to this region make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and buy you get me so when it buys it will break this region which has formed a resistance here it will break it perhaps retest it make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern buy there's also a possibility that it will sell down here then when it start buying it will buy with strong pressure and break it and just move up to this region this is possible then if it will sell we'll see the market sell on monday and end as a bearish candle closing below the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame that will be a strong confirmation for a sell and we will consider a sell so like i said there is indecision in the market and we can't tell what direction the market is going to at the moment so for that reason we have to wait for the market to choose a side so i've given um, scenarios to expect which will be a confirmation of what direction the market is going to and i expect you to look out for those possibilities or those scenarios and once you see these confirmations you know exactly what to do and what direction to trade with so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like what we say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the Forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our Forex course. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service will give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us your location or tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video. Hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.